Hey writers, and welcome to our fifth writing prompt. As you can see, the background isn't normally what it is. I normally have to film these outside, but it's sunny, and there's, you know, fresh air and grass and trees and all that. But it's been raining pretty hard these past few days, so it just didn't seem like that was in the car this time around, unfortunately. But honestly, that's all right, because I want to take it down a bit of a detour this week. We've been focusing a lot these flats for writing prompts on character development and how we can really set up these really strong foundations as far as like motivations and imagery and you know what means a lot to these characters and then put them in situations that make for really strong stories. But I never want to leave out the most crucial aspect of creative writing in my opinion and that is of course the creative aspect of it. You know, think about these different sorts of figurative language that you've used throughout the years, for example, or, you know, learned about, such as metaphors, similes, analogies, hyperboles, uh, personification, onomatopoeia, that sort of stuff. And think about the ways that writers use these sorts of devices and stories to help the readers feel a certain type of way or get them in a certain sort of mental state. I want to focus on music this time around specifically because unlike storytelling or story writers where you're having to sort of balance that figurative information with giving the reader direct information about what's happening, what's going on, where is the character, what are they doing, what are they feeling, what are they seeing, what are they saying, whereas songwriters don't have to focus so much on that. They can just focus strictly on feeling or how a particular event made them feel a certain type of way. Right? So with that, I want you to take a moment to really think about some favorite lyrics that you've had throughout the years. Um, you know, maybe a particular line or a particular verse that an artist had in a song that just really connected to you emotionally. Or maybe if you don't listen to music as much, think about like poems, for example, that really would have connected to you. And really, you just felt really closely related to you. And then think about why. What was it about those lines or about those lyrics that really related to you, that really made you connect to them? So with that, I want to take this writing prompt and split it into a bit two parts. But the first part, I want you to think about those lyrics, maybe write them at the top of a page, and then write a little bit about why they connected to you so much. Why did they impact you so much? Why did they make you feel a certain type of way? And how did they make you feel? And then, for the second part, I want you to really think about how it made you feel, and then I want you to recreate that and write your own song or your own story with that same feeling in mind. The reason why I want to focus on this this time around is because I feel like the most effective writing sort of blends these two things together. You want to give information to your reader, you want to make sure that they know what's going on in the story, but then the best part about being a writer, of course, is getting to be creative with it, getting to use language in different sorts of ways that we don't always get to do. So with that, I want you to focus on, again, taking those lyrics, writing a little bit about those lyrics, and then for the second part, take that feeling that those lyrics made you feel, and then write your own song or your own poem and focus strictly on making the reader feel that way and have fun with it. Write some weird lines, write something that maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it sounds good, it sounds cool, or it just looks really cool, and just allow yourself to just, again, get creative with it. Don't feel like you have to follow any sort of set of rules, because as writers, technically, you don't have to follow any rules. You're building your words as you're writing them. You're building your worlds with your words. So with that, have fun, have a good day, I hope you're staying safe, I hope you're staying well, and I'll see you in the next one.